Hello everybody, welcome to game number two of Give Me Money, um, against Rick Reckless, starting with a blitz. Which, to be fair, it went in a horrible, sp it went in the worst possible place for me. Um, you know, Rick had defended with his blood stepper here and it just went directly behind him, so I couldn't get any heat on the ball, really. Uh, but did get a Kaz there, instant Kaz, which he apples. So that was, that was obviously amazing. This is a crazy team from Rick, he's got all four catches and uh, only one reroll, so... It's a bit of a crazy high pro health build. Um, of course, just try and like dominate the LOS here. I thought there was more value in dominating LOS because the fact he's only got the one reroll. Just try and dominate the LOS and, and don't put too much threat on the ball. Like obviously, I could have blitzed this guy and put like two players here, but I just didn't think that was worth it. Um, I thought better swarm the LOS and then have a bit of a screen out. I mean, this is this is very tricky already for Rick. I'm surprised he didn't just pick up on the bludger, to be honest. And with not having any rerolls. Well, sorry, with one reroll, but now he's got none because he has to pick up the ball. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would have picked up on the bludger if I was him for sure. And he just he just cages behind here, and that's. Uh, that's pretty rowdy, isn't it? He's now out of rerolls, and he's got no two dice blocks that he can make. So this was pretty rowdy by Rick. <laughs> Going all in. <laughs> Going all in on the based LOS. Was... Well, some might say it was reckless. And he gets a KO there. <laughs> So he's, he's, he's an alright, 10v10 now. But of course now you'd hope there'd be a lot of pressure on the ball. And obviously I'm going to want to have as much contact as possible with having more armour and him having no rerolls. Could just get an auto win at any time. <laughs> Should have stood this guy up first. So I was always going to stand him up and blitz him. A slight ordering mistake. Shame on me. Maybe I should have held him out wide because the obvious move from Rick is to go around this side next turn. But he also could have forced his way through this side, like quite easily, right? Block there, blitz there, and he could have come down this side. So I wanted to. Um, I wanted to be able to like not completely give up this side, and I kind of completely give up this side, but at least it's a bit harder for him to get to this side. So he's probably just going to be able to get to about here, rather than going deep, whereas he could have gone deep down that side. Nice little chain, let him get a bit closer. <laughs> Very close. But like every dice roll mix mix. Rick rolls now is terrifying, isn't it? For him. Well not really terrifying, but you know. In the context of <laughs> losing the game. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. So obviously just gonna take these blocks at the end. Try and get in the way a bit. He's using his blood stepper very well. That's always the guy I want to blitz. I mean, that's obviously what he, what he wants to do. He wants to put, he wants the blood stepper to be the guy that I want to blitz positionally, because I don't want to hit him attritionally, right? Or positionally because he can sidestep. So Rick is doing the right thing by hanging him out there every turn. Basing the ball is a bit crap, but. You know, if I could have double based it, it would be pretty good because they couldn't get the assists as easy. I just didn't have the movement. So, you know, giving up some hits here. But again, giving up the hits isn't that bad. So it didn't follow there so that this one could follow and tag two down players. And then I could get these two back in the action next turn, is the idea. Oh, 
What do I get for basing? <laughs> a minus AV lineman, but uh, luckily the apple worked. So Rick just basically consolidated, but two removals there is obviously. Well, it wasn't two removals, one removal. I just rolled it twice. Two, two down to his one is, is the situation. Which is a bit, it's a bit shit, right? Because I've got the higher AV, but I mean, he is, he is getting more blocks because I'm trying to force the issue with him not having rerolls. So I go for the 4 plus 1 D here, which which isn't great, but then also I thought I'm not in that dire straits yet. I guess this is a bit rowdy for me. Well, turn 3, 1 D cage dive. But, you know, again, it's making him roll dice if it works. It's not that unlikely to work, and it's not that big a loss if, if it doesn't work. And I just felt like... I'm having to give him too many hits to try and engineer something. So either I just back off, and then it's kind of easy for him. Or I can do that sack with everything base, then it's super hard for him, right? So, Not sure, I'm still not sure about whether that sack was a good idea or not. Yeah, first things first, get these guys down. Very good. And this is a stupid blitz, because only the power gets in, but then got double powers, that was nice. What I should have done here was dodge out the, the blitzer, because it's a 1 in 9 dodge instead of a 1 in 6. Um, but instead I just went with a low there. But that was wrong because it's one in six. So if I'd done, if I'd done him first, if I'd failed the first one, I could have maybe punched him or whatever. Like if I if I burnt dodge, maybe the line just punches him. This still isn't perfect from again. Like anything can fail with with no re rolls. Obviously an option just for Rick to just bang it in here, but he's, he of course wants to stall it out. And there's a dead blitzer. <laughs> Minus AV, very sad. Wish I'd saved my apple now. This is a pretty reckless play by Rick. Uh, instant 1D on the ball, so he's got a foul with a catcher, which is which is pretty crazy, isn't it? A 100k at foul with your 100k player, but that's Rick. Uh, now I quite like the now I quite like the cage dive because I've got some things to react, and you know that could be a really good scatter. So I think this cage dive is a lot more reasonable. And even putting the reroll, that was a bit rowdy. But again, like you know, it's four plus to get the ball free, and, and things could have happened. I didn't hate the reroll, and now it's just base everything up and hope he can fail the dice roll. Which isn't a great strategy, is it? But you know, when someone's lost their reroll on turn one. <laughs> You would have hoped that they would have failed some dice after that at some point. Well, exactly, Limrus, but it's, you know, you've kind of like. It was quite reasonable. Like, people like shouldn't have played this aggressively against everybody, right? I was just doing it because I had no re-rolls. 
So there you go, he finally rolls a one, and now there's a chance. And it's not a great chance, but it is a chance. Catcher makes some two pluses. And the bludger makes some hits. Some dodges and a hit. And you've got the ball on the ground. Maybe I should have pushed it to there to try and get it out here, but um, I knew I could punch him and just surround the ball. So I thought that was probably safer. And it probably was safer. I thought about re-rolling this for a decent amount of time, but with one re-roll, I think if I had two re-rolls, I'd re-roll that, but with only one re-roll, I didn't want it. See, I mean, this isn't great, is it? I haven't got many players on the field. Catch is getting hit again. Funny scatter, and then an amazing scatter. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely incredible scatter. Walks in the way, very good. And then hits with the right player. Like, cause see, this is a one in nine instead of one in thirty-six. But at least if he gets a push, you can hit him again. So he, de he definitely did the right thing. And also if he blocks with him, he pushes him forward. So it's like doubly good to hit with him. But now I've got a chance, right? I've got, I've got the dodge away. Scoring threat, even though there's only two turns left. Got a re-roll. Telling me there's a chance. can get the push on me here, so uh, I've, I've got to make both GFIs, I think. Like, one one is better. One reroll is better. One GFI is better, because I wouldn't have had to do the GFI to pass it to him. Um, but it would be in the danger of if he, uh, if he pushed me. And I'll reroll here. This is interesting, because there's, there's, a, there's a few more rolls to make after this. But, um... I didn't just want to rely on him not powering me on two dice. So I wanted to try and get the screen. Which do get the complete full screen. Instant full screen. Really nice. And he fails to get through. So this is a GFI to score. And likely win. Good. Right, so now we've both got ten for the second half. I'm down in quality, missing a blitzer, but it's not that big a disadvantage, I don't think. And then when you add to the fact that I hate Rick's build. <laughs> uh, like, full positionals, isn't it? Two throwers, four catches, two blitzers. Like, it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy build. I would definitely prefer it with three catches. And one thrower and two reels. It's again just a normal drive because you can out bash people when they're armor seven, you're armor eight, but maybe not. I want to keep him as a so, I mean, I had the choice, right? Either I pick up on the bludge and then I can be a bit looser with the ball or I just keep it... or hand off to the catcher or I just keep it on the rookie and then I, I thought I'd just keep it on the rookie because I don't have to score. So the move six carrier isn't that bad. And if he does get sacked, um, then at least, you know, I can pick up on the bludge afterwards. 
and I've also got like the handoff or pass play to the catcher, so I didn't hate having it on him, and at least it was done without any rolls. So we get the big foul in here, thanks to the bribe. Actually remembered I had it for once, because I was try-harding a little bit with it being wrecked. I should have uh, gone one back. So a little, you know, he's a little isolated, um, but I don't expect Rick to uh, do gigantic gang fouls, <laughs> which you know I should have done. And that's the only thing he's got in his mind here. You still got the you still got the bribe, which is the most important thing. So I think you know I want to try and move forward here. I probably should have got the catcher in scoring range, honestly. I think that's probably a mistake, right? This catcher could have ran through and got to about there. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. If this catcher could have got to here, maybe he could have just got the hero here. But I probably should have got the catcher forward just so there was a chance of the score. And obviously at 2 it's pretty much over. Not actually over, of course, Elliot, but uh, more or less over. I didn't follow here because I didn't want to get punched. Because I thought I'd just get punched and fouled anyway. But he's going to do that first, isn't he? So I probably should have followed and then dodged him out. Because he's obviously just going to start with a foul with a bribe. Whereas I thought if I follow, it's just going to knock me down. And then gang foul me anyway. But at least it would have cost him some position to do that. So I guess I should have... Uh, guess I should have followed and dodged. I guess I could have whirled the one on the dodge as well, and then... Uh, he could have been removed and it could have all been terrible. Covers the sideline, but you know if this if this high elf catcher had been here, could have just blitzed and scored. Want to uh, try and get back to the middle, but of course all the pushes. And this is where the movement six is a bit rubbish because you just can't you can't move around that good. So put him out wide and I uh, put the catcher there. I should have put the catcher here. You can't get around the back. Pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, maybe he can. Maybe maybe behind is okay. Yeah, maybe behind is fine. But then this is leaving these two exposed, which can get kind of fouled. Which it's not good, is it? When your opponent's got a bribe, you don't want to let people get gang fouled, really. Especially as Rick can do with the first action. Oh my god, I'm literally falling asleep. Whew. Boy, howdy. So yeah, this is a bit rubbish. Like, the, the team is pretty split. Like they're pretty pretty loose, looser than they were in the last game. Um, Rick's got a bludge stepper. It's an absolute nightmare to deal with. You know, outnumbered. Uh, only by one, but this bludge stepper is just too good. So I thought I'll take one one go at knocking him over. And then do scary two pluses.
I didn't really, I didn't really care about the non-knockdown there because the plan was always to um, blitz with him anyway. What's this guy called? Blitzer. Blodger. So now I'll get it on the blodger, right? Because now, now I'm thinking this is actually pretty desperate. <laughs> it's actually pretty desperate now. Uh, let's get the ball to the blodger. Just to make sure that everything should be okay. So I wouldn't have re-rolled those two dodges there. But now when I get the GFIs, I think it's probably worth it to make sure that I just don't get powered. Because it would have been pretty easy to get 2D on the ball. I'd rather not. Only four turns left. Another stun. Like Rick was getting a bunch of stuns as well. It wasn't just from like I mean, he didn't make many removals yet, but he was getting consistent stuns. I don't know if this was trap space by Rick. I'd like to ask him. Because looking at this now, it looks like maybe just running back was the best idea. Because Rick deliberately leaves this little... Uh, another, now we get another cast. Deliberately leaves this, this on, doesn't he? he? Leaves the sideline move on. Which... Is not what I would have done. Alright, let's have a look. So yeah, looking at it now, there were two players free. I could have blitzed him, and that would have freed him. And so I would have had a screen for the ball anyway. And then, yeah, and I could have just come back here. So maybe maybe coming back here was the best player. But uh, instead, I tried to uh, push forward, threaten the score next turn. This is a bit risky, isn't it? Going for the 1 and 36 dodge. But the thing is, I thought I need I need all three of these to protect against the surf, so I had to make it as much chance of doing it without reroll as possible. Yeah, I thought this was pretty decent overall for what I had. That stun guy down there. And this guy isolated. Yeah, Rick gets the full gets the full screen in there. Going down the sideline is out, and of course he's got the blood step to hold that magnificently. I'm happy that he's at least punching with the other blood, well, the other side step. Found him with a catcher, classic Rick. Doesn't he's not going to roll once, and he doesn't makes another removal. So now it's getting pretty desperate, right? Four players off the pitch. Beautiful uh, power there. Now, here, this is really weird. I, I should blitz this guy. And I know I should blitz this guy. And I just don't. I blitz this guy and it doesn't do anything. It means I've got to draw a 2 plus and go all the way around. And I don't know for the life of me why I didn't just blitz this guy. Could have even just blitzed him and gone back. Um, maybe it's not so much, but... I don't know, I just hate it. I hate it blitzing. I blitz the thrower here. I guess this way I get to, to get in scoring range. You know, cause, cause Rick a few more problems. There's not that many two pluses to roll. Like, I did plan out exactly where the cage was going to be. Slight mistake here, in, in my opinion. I would like to put him here. Let's have him there. That's okay, isn't it? Seven players. And, uh, 
Six of them are in the cage. Could have just dodged there, couldn't he? And hit from there. That was a bit rowdy from Rick. <laughs> Maybe it's just a misclick. But he should definitely gone three, four, five, six. So yeah, blood stepper on the ball. This guy triple tagged. I've just got to try and pal the side stepper. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> try and pal the side stepper again. Dub skulls. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. And uh, yep, so now I've just got a 2 plus with our reroll. I've got a 3 2 with him, with just dodge. Get him. He can 3 2, lovely. Maybe he's going to be one further out. Maybe he's doing one further out there. Make it a bit harder for him to come around and hit him. So yeah, looking back, he should be one further out, shouldn't he? I don't know how much difference it would have made, but maybe. Like the fact Rick's only got one reroll, so now obviously he gets the catcher in scoring range because all of a sudden I've got like five players on the pitch, <laughs> yeah, six players on the pitch, which is which is not good. Yeah, and he has gone all the way around. So yeah, that that one extra square out would have made a big difference. Yeah. Doesn't get the power, doesn't re roll it either. And that is a huge double skulls there. Absolutely massive double skulls, because it's even giving us a free player there as well. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable look there. Hello, Penemy. Yeah, this is the game that I played yesterday against Rick. So amazing, amazing power there, and amazing armor break. So now it's pretty, pretty easy to get the last turn of stall here. Just a few 1 in 36s required. And a 3-2 from him, so there you go, that's full cage. And it's Rick's last turn, he's got to do a lot. He's got a cage dive, hasn't he? If he wants to go for the win. Well, if he wants to get the draw, like he's got a, he's got a cage dive. And he's got to roll a pow, but he rolls a skull. And he gets badly hurt. Glorious. So yeah, obviously I gave him scoring. It didn't matter as one well I looked and I just had to stop him scoring. So yeah, that was interesting, interesting game of cat and mouse. The second half is is his fouls were just killing my team. Um catcher got MVP is good, so he leveled. Um into dodge. So yeah, interesting, interesting game. I still made more blocks than him. Um but took way more damage. He did make more fouls. So there you go. Um right, so that that was the second game of that team. Um Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.